Okay, one of the simplest ways to make hangar doors is just hang your, put your tracks on 2x6 and just bolt it on. We suspended these ones here with cables, a little fair there. As you start off, just take a 2x6, get your track, you go there by the home hardware, TSC anywhere. Actually, you know what? I think home hardware was cheaper. They were 29 bucks a, a length. And you need 10 lengths, so it's going to cost you about 290 bucks, say 300 bucks for tracks, a couple hundred bucks for the wheels you want there. And then you're going to have a set of wheels and tracks. All you get is to need the two by sixes. That's going to be something that actually rolls along pretty easily. So you sit there and struggle with your doors. With all these homemade contraptions I've seen over the years, or just have to leave it wide open like this. But you know what? It is kind of nice when you have the doors on there. So you got a total of 500 bucks tied up in a tracking. You want to build these yourself a bit, a little bit of cable, some rods, and uh, the skins for the doors are only shit. That's only about th 300 bucks. There's a guy up north of Stratford there called uh, Linwood Corp. He's about the cheapest to buy steel at, about 82 to 84 cents a square foot. Whereas if you go to Cobb's Lumber, one of the places, it's probably even closer to a buck and a half a square foot. They can make any. Oh, they made all these hangers here, all the doors for them. So that's all there is to it. Easy as ABC. You get what you freaking pay for. And unfortunately, well, this actually these these two hangers here, the guys put all new metal, all new wood in them. They had about five grand in them. Now that time he puts doors on, probably about sixty-five hundred bucks he'll have in them because we're doing the labor for free. But these ones down here, you see, use siding on them. Other than the doors and this one, two, and three, Christ, I don't think we got more two hundred bucks in any of them. Other than the doors, the doors are the most expensive part. We salvage all the metal from all kinds of places, eh? So, and these are rock solid. Every one is made of I-beam, except for the one has got an open web joist in it. Two of them, which I welded together myself. Want to see my welding ticket? Well, we got these things all put together here now. We're ready to mount brackets and hoist it up. Two kids having fun in the mud. What? Well, here's hangar construction 101, or 102. Anyway, you got the, these are all bolted on with carriage bolts. You got to use carriage bolts in here because if you don't, you know what happens. The rollers won't go by. Anyway, there's the ropes are all hanging down, so we'll just lift this thing up and just keep lifting up one by one all the way down here. Then by the time we come back, all the brackets are on there. Derek measured them out very precisely. We got the cables on for the post up there. So hopefully without a glitch, this will go up. If it doesn't, you'll probably get the next picture of me underneath it. Screaming for help. See ya. Well, remember this thing? Now it's hanging by three ropes. <laughs> There's two of us, and it is heavy. Anyway, it's like trying to lift up a piece of wet spaghetti right now. The weighs about 600 pounds, maybe more. So stay tuned. It'll be blood, or it'll be up. Well, like two beavers playing around here. We're inching up slowly but surely. It's going up and up and up. The snow's coming down and down and down. This is really our first decent snow this winter. Will it stay? Who knows? See, Tweedledum and Tweedledee still at her. It's almost up in place here. Now we get the cable on, ready to go. We got two more lifts up to do, then we line her up. Well, we're up a little bit higher now. Just got to secure the other two ends and we can start screwing it on. Level her out and put her together. Well, guess what time it is now? Time to screw the bugger together. We're just going to level it up here now as we go along. We'll make it the same as the I beam that's up there, eh? Now, have you ever seen such a good hangar construction as this? I've seen some other ones. I was at a flying this past summer. Awesome. Man, awesome. they were cheesy. I'll tell you, this is a way to build a hangar. You know, we had five feet of snow in these last December, man. And I think the sag did about an inch, but we don't use teleposts in them. I think it'd probably be a good idea to put a telepost in them. But uh, yeah, that would uh, really suck to have your hangar fall down the airplane. Especially after you spent, well, on one of these jobs, not a lot of money on these ones down here, but these are a bit more money. But hey, you buy an airplane for 15 or grand or 10 grand or 20 grand, you gotta put five grand into it to protect the baby. If not, you're not gonna have nothing to fly it next year. Okay, we're just up here, gonna level this beam out here now. See, see what you. I just lift up a hair more. Uh, we could probably, that's only about an inch right there. Probably go up a hair more, but it's not too bad to start there. A few more to do and we should be lying right up there. How should look? Look fairly straight along there. 
Oh well. Well, it's almost dark, almost quitting time. The beam is in place. We just got to put our post on the end there. That'll support the guy wires. That's on the next hangers down. That's an ingenious way to do it. So I made up a couple of new posts right here. So we'll just take these from here and we'll just bolt it on the last rafter right there. Feed the cable through there. And the cable's already hanging right there. So we just hang it through there. And then we just drill down through the roof there into one of those rafters, uh, an eye bolt, and uh, We'll put a turnbuckle on it, we'll be able to tighten it up, and then that way when the two doors slide out that way, the way to support it. Simple. You don't have to buy the extra pole out there. It makes it life a lot easier. Now, I think we should go for a little fly. Well, as we continue on building the hangar doors, we cut the reels up. Now what we did is we put a post, I just welded a little post up with a piece of tube bed in there. A piece of um, Eighth inch cable with an eye bolt either way. It was bolted on with a tensioner on there. And that's all that holds that whole rail up right there, both ends there. We did them all like that, eh? Very simple, very easy. You want to protect your airplane, that's what you got to do. Now we're going to just start the layout for the doors down here. So we're going to get ready, grab some more tools there, and we're going to get to town. Thanks. Well, we got one door put together here. We got uh, child labor down there on the floor. <laughs> James, you're a good worker. How old are you? And you're screwing all these together yourself? Look at that. That's how uniform James does it. There's mine. They're all over the place. James is a better tradesperson than I am, apparently. Anyway, we're going to keep building doors. We'll keep you going one by one as we go on there. Show you how to protect your airplane from all the elements. Okay, well, the brackets for the doors, that's them right there. We need a third hole in them right there, so I'm just going to just center punch them all. I'm going to get that in line there and. I'll just sharpen that drill bit and let's hopefully see if it works as good as the last one. Yeah, that one worked okay. Let's try another one now. I'm getting pretty talented holding this camera now. That's right on the center punch right there. And that's it. We got them all done. So we get these ones back down the hangar. We'll get, get them on. Then we put the steel on the doors. And then we're ready to hang them. Perfect. Now to put the wheels on. We get the metal sitting there. We'll test spot. Make sure the wheels are in the right spot. And then when you hang them up there, it'll be trouble-free operation. Another good way to protect your investment in your airplane. Or you can be a cheap ass and buy some tarp and put it over top of it. Oopsie. Gonna make a little bit of a gouger because when the wheels go in there, there's a bit of a nut that sticks down in there. That's what you call a custom alteration to make the damn thing work. Now we're gonna try our craftsmanship, see if it works. I just lifted it up, got the one roller on. Now, the other roller's right up here. Okay, now I'll pick this up. Okay. Look at that, hey! There you go. About an hour and a bit to build a door and put the steel on her. She's ready to roll there. One door already done. And let's just see how well we built this wall. The door, see if it's square. Uh-oh, I think I see a problem. The bottom, something's not square. It'll be that wall. <laughs> it's probably the guy who built the building. <laughs> well, it wasn't us now, was it? <laughs> well, we'll go and do the next door. It's a good fit though. But that looks good. So there's door number one. Pretty simple. If you want to make it simple, well, however you want to do it, it works. Anyway, there's a plane sitting here, all alone. And it's not cold enough to freeze out yet. Not this altitude. I think it should go for fly soon. Yeah. We got a couple doors done, Derek, James, and myself. And we got the three more frames built, ready to go. But now, you know what it's time for? I think it's airplane time. Time to go for an airplane fly. Let's go. 
Well, New Year's Day 2012. Starting to suck the door here. Skin it up. You can see it's windier than hell outside. Pouring a goddamn rain. Uh, January 1st, I think this will be it for the rain though today. It's going to be probably some lake effect snow firing up later. If you have a look up there, look at the clouds how fast they're going by there. The guy be doing 40 mile an hour up there, eh? Just a rocking by. Anyway, all you spring lover winter people, spring is gone. Winter is coming. Batten on the hatches and get ready. Well, the doors are going back together. Go. Another one down out of there. Gonna hang one more. We gotta put two more skins on, and this thing should be ready to go. Well, here we are. January 1st, 2012. We just put up the last set of doors here, so we got all four of them up there right now. We were one piece short of metal, so we're kind of dinked there. Anyway, you know, we lock these things down. We just take a rod there, just hammer that in the ground right there, and the pin holds that in place. That's all. It's all done. Helpers. Uh, a little bit of help. And me. Thank you. Happy New Year. Well, there's a, almost a final chapter here. Derek's putting the pins down. They just fit perfect. We need one more piece of metal. So, anyway, there's a, oh, a couple of day project there putting those rails up and that. And uh, just a finished touch of the hanger. So there you go. See ya.